Welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how to factor some monomials. Now, it might not seem like a big deal to be able to factor monomials, but this is really going to be our building blocks that's going to allow us to understand the later stages of factoring. So I think it's very important to understand exactly what's going on in this lesson, and I'm going to try to do that through four examples. So the first example, I have the number eight. And when we think about factoring eight, what I want you to think about is rewriting the number eight as a product. And that is what factoring is, is rewriting an expression as a product. So there's a couple different ways we could write eight, right? We could do eight times one. We could do four times two. Now, typically when we're thinking about factoring numbers, and especially when we're looking into like simplifying radicals, we call we look at look at writing a number as the linear factorization. Basically meaning breaking down a product a number into a product of its smallest prime factors. So I can break down four, you know, you could factor four as well, right? You could break down that into two times two times two. So this is what we call the linear factorization of the number eight. But in reality, I really just want you to understand that I took the number eight and I rewrote it as a product. So each of these examples would be a considered a factored form of eight. We can do the exact same thing with a variable. So if I have x cubed, like a lot of times you could think, well, that's really x squared times x. We could use the rules of exponents to understand that. Or we could also use that prime factorization for x times x times x. So again, these are going to be very helpful when we're looking into simplifying our radicals, but also to understand um, factoring later on. Now, what about when we have a number and a variable combined? Well, we're going to factor them again, but we're just going to look at separate, we're going to factor them obviously separately. So if I wanted to factor eight nine, if I wanted to break this down into its linear factorization, um, I could say, well, I know nine can be, or 18, I'm sorry, can be broken down into a nine times two. And then let's just break down x to the fourth as x squared times x squared. You don't have to go through this whole step. But again, if you see that you could break it down one more step further to three times three times two times x times x times x times x, right? And again, this is going to multiply into this 18x to the fourth, but we're breaking it down into our smallest components, right? I can't further factor down x. I can't further factor down three or two. These are your prime factors. And then our last example, I have 25 x squared and a y. So even if I could add in extra variables, you're still just going to treat each and every number and variable separately. And again, we're just rewriting them as a product, so it's not really going to matter which one we do first. 25 can be written as 5 times 5. x squared can be written as x times x. And y is just going to be written as y. So there you guys have it. We have each and every one of these monomials um, broken down into their linear factors factorized form. I hope this was helpful for you and I look forward to helping you in the next video. We're going to expand upon this topic to be able to factor our binomials and trinomials. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.